Here we go. Fingertips behind the ears. Pour your head and neck. Knees bent. Knees flat on the floor. Here we go. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. Think about the first thing you're going to do is contract that upper abdominal above the navel. Squeeze it. And then lift the shoulders up. So you're lifting with the contraction of the abs. You're not just pulling on the head and neck. And you're not swinging. Good. Control it. Navel's pressing towards the spine as you come up. And then go out. Lower back should be resting against the floor. Good job. Give me two more singles. Now we're going to do a two-two. Slow it down. Lift up for two. And down for two. Contract and lift. And lower. You exhale. You inhale. One more. Focus. Let's go back to singles. Give me a two-two. Two singles. Two-two. Nice and slow. Singles. Contract and lift. Two-two. One more time. Two singles. Two-two. Okay, let's just go back to singles. Stay there. Bring that left knee above your hip and follow with your right. Okay, we're going to start the area below the navel. Think about that area. I want you to contract it nice and tight. That's going to bring those hips off the floor to a little pelvic tilt. Bring your upper body down. Here we go. Little contraction and release. So you're squeezing those abs real tight, that lower abdominal area. Think about pushing that navel up against that spine as you exhale out. You're not swinging. Those hips are just barely coming off that floor. I want you to focus on using your core to get that tilt and keep your lower back relaxed. Okay? Okay, we're going to do eight more of these. Control it. Nice, take squeeze. Four more. You got to breathe. Three. Two. We're going to keep these going. We're going to add that upper body and crunch. So crunch the center. Again, you're not swinging back and forth. Very small, very controlled. Squeeze in the center. Six. Seven. We're going to try eight more. Eight. If you need to stop and take a break, feel free to do that. Six. Five. Four. Three. There's two. And one. Now just the upper body. Legs are silent. More. Now, upper body comes all the way down. Bring both your arms above the chest. Fingertips point to the ceiling. Okay, we're going to alternate right arm and left leg. It's going to extend out two counts, nice and long. Then we're going to bring it back in. Then we're going to go to the other side. All right? Now, if that lower back is coming off the floor, take your legs up higher. All right? So here we go. Right, right arm, left leg, two counts out. Two counts in. Left side, other side. Just alternate each side. Okay, you go arm and leg. Bring it in for two. Other side. Out for two. And in. Take it out for two. And in. Take it out. You want to make it harder? Let that shoulders off the floor. Take it out for two. And in. Lower back is against the floor. Take the legs higher if it starts coming off that floor. Out for two. And in for two. Other side. Out for two. And in. Let's do one more set like that. Other side. Bring it back in. Hold. 
This time I'm going to do both arms, both legs. Okay? If you want to do just one at a time like you just did, feel free to do that. Remember that lower back, okay? So two counts each way. Here we go. Both arms and legs. Out for two. And in for two. You can lift the head up or you can keep it on the floor. Shoulders lift. It's a little bit harder. Out for two. In for two. Two counts out. Two counts in. Take your legs higher. That lower back is inching off the floor. Out for two. And in for two. Out for two. And in for two. Two more. Take it out. And in. Last time. Take it out. And in. Grab behind the knees. Pull it into the chest. Pull your head from right to left. Okay, keep those knees back in tabletop position. Fingertips behind those ears, upper body lifts. So take it up and down. Lift and lower. Okay, as you come up, alternate those heel pads down to the floor. Push right and left. As the shoulders come up, the heel taps down. Okay, now start walking those heel taps away from your bottom. The leg is eventually going to end up being straight. Again, watch that lower back. If you can't get it straight out, keep them in closer. Okay, now you slowly bring those heels back in towards your bottom. Breathe. Good job. Two more sets. Last set here. Good job. Bring those feet to the floor. Take them out nice and wide. Take it just behind the ears. Just roll over the upper body. Again, take that break when you need it. Gonna work on the waistline a little bit. Give me four more here. Three. Two. Okay, right shoulder to your left knee. Take it all the way over. And back. I want that full range. I want you to lead with that shoulder. Lift it up and towards the ceiling each time. Exhale. Lengthen out that right arm. Pinky finger taps the outside of that knee. I want you to go over there and touch the outside of that knee. Give it a full tap. Four more. Let's go. Give me four. In three. Two. Finger just behind the ears, roll straight up, lift and lower. Two more. This time, left shoulder, right knee. Here we go. Lift up and over. Lean to the shoulder. Twist from the torso, not the shoulders, the torso. Use that on the Two more. Lengthen out that left arm, tap the outside of that. Knee. Little tap. You got it. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. We're going to roll up to the center. Go straight up. Again, take the break when you need it. Lift and lower. Now come up and hold. Shoulders off the floor. Stay lifted. Right elbow to the right heel. A little side pin. Shoulders are off the floor. A little side pin. Four more. Let's go. Give me four. Three. Two. Now lengthen that right arm and reach for the ankle. A little further. That's it. Come on. Four more. Four. Three, two, take your chest behind the ears, roll straight up, take it up, and up, shoulder slip. Okay, come up and hold. Left elbow to left ankle, side bend, keep the shoulders up. You got it. Four more. Four, three, 
in that arm. Tap the ankle if you can. Side bend. Four more. There's four. And three. There's two. And one. Roll straight up. And just behind the ears. Two more. Good job. Come all the way down. Grab behind those knees. Pull them into the chest. Pull your head from right to left. Okay, let's roll up. Come over to our front. We're going to work some planks. Okay. We're going to be on the elbows and the toes. So you want a nice straight line from the crown of your head to your heels. Do not let your hips set egg. Okay? When you're gazing forward onto the floor, you're not looking at your feet. We're going to hold this plank right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now jog your knees. Right knee down, left knee down. Try not to move the hips if you can. Five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven. Look, gazing forward onto the floor. Four, three, two, up and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, feet march out, out, in, in. Take them out, take it out, bring it in, and in. Right goes out, left goes out, bring it in, and in. It's out, out, in. One more time, out, out. And hold right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hip, dip, left, right. Two counts to the right. Bring it back to the center. Two counts to the left. Bring it back center. Two counts right and center. Go to your left and center. One more set. Take it to the right. Bring it center, take it to your left, bring it center, hold that plank for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now pull your body forward, just pull forward for two and back, like a saw. Pull forward for two and back, pull forward for two and back, last time. Pull forward for two and back. Hold right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down to those knees. Sit back onto your heels. Okay, now let's come over onto our back. We're going to do a reverse plank. We're going to try and hold it for a minute. You cannot hold for a minute. You come down when you need to, all right? So you're on your back. Your arms are down by your sides, palms facing in. Now you want to keep that lower back resting against the floor. So if you need to keep your legs up higher when we lift up and hold, get them up higher, okay? So take a couple breaths. Take another one. Okay, now I'm going to have you lift the shoulders and feet off the floor. Keep breathing and hold. Remember, lower back should be against the floor. If not, bring those legs up a little higher until it is. Shoulders are off the floor. Try to relax the jaw and neck area. Your core should be nice and tight. Solid and tight. You want to take that navel, press it right up against your spine. You gotta breathe. Take that break if you need it. You will get stronger if you're consistent with doing it, okay? Mind over matter. You got 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on. 
and down. Whew. Pull the knees into your chest. Nice tight ball. Roll your head from right to left. Breathe. Bring your hands center. Rock that body side to side. Bring your body back to the center. Knees above your hips. Arms out to your sides. Keep your feet and knees together. Very slowly lower legs over to your left. Hold the legs in contact with the floor if you can. Now look over your right shoulder. Breathe. And come center. One leg at a time. Center. Keep knees back together. Slowly lower to your right. We're going to look over our left shoulder. Breathe. Head comes center, one leg at a time center. Bring those feet to the floor, extend your legs long, flex your feet. Bring your arms above your head. You're going to take your fingertips, you're going to reach towards one wall. At the same time, your feet are going to press up against the other wall. You're going to be a nice big long stretch of the body, stretching in opposite directions. So I want to see you grow about two inches. Keep breathing, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now take a deep breath, exhale, and just relax. Nice, easy breathing, relax. Bring your arms down by your side, rolling over to your front. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Bring the palm of the hands on the floor in front of you. I want you to bring your chin down to your chest and keep it there. Okay, now I'm going to have you push against the floor with your hands. You're going to lift just the upper body. So your hips are still pressed into the floor with the legs. Upper body's lifted. Breathe. Now slowly lift your head. So you're looking directly forward. Hold there and breathe. Bring that chin back down to your chest. Come up onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees under your hips. Your hands are under your shoulders. Take your top top on, tuck it under, arch your back up nice and high, let the head just relax down. Just stretch to that spine area. Keep breathing. Now slowly come back down to neutral spine, hold it there. This time, tilt the tailbone and chin up to the ceiling. Hold, breathe. Coming to neutral spine. Hold it there, breathe. Come up onto your knees. Bring one foot in front. Tuck your back toe under. Hand above that knee. And press up. Excellent work, gang. Questions, let me know. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it.